Hi, I'm Marco from iDoc. In this video, we show you the most important tips and tricks for your smartphone repairs. On YouTube and on our website, you can find many repair instructions for the most common smartphone models. You can find the right tools and spare parts for your repair in our online store. First of all, here's some information that can help you when buying spare parts. Before you buy, you should find out exactly what kind of spare part you need. You can buy spare parts on the internet or from repair services. There are different price ranges for spare parts and, accordingly, different quality levels. Apple, for example, does not sell any spare parts at all. Which means that if you find stores where spare parts are offered as original, you can assume that they are not telling the truth. There are numerous replicas of iPhone displays with significant differences in quality. These differences can be seen in the brightness of the display and the accuracy of it. It is best to take a close look at the replacement part before repairing it. Basically, it is more difficult to exchange a spare part that has already been installed. For example, regarding flex cables, you should make sure that the cable is not bent or torn. Before each repair, you should find out what tools you need. This is shown at the beginning of each repair video and is also linked in the info box. You should also pay attention to the quality of the tools. The screwdriver, for example, should have a precise profile and should fit 100% on the screw. Otherwise, you might damage the screw. Good screwdrivers have a hardened tip and thus last longer. Basically, we advise you to stay away from cheap screwdrivers and recommend you to invest in some high quality ones. They will last much longer and are therefore more sustainable as well. We have also explained everything about tools in a separate video. You can find it linked in the info box. Before the repair, you should first clean up your workspace. You should make sure that the workplace is free from dirt or sand particles. Otherwise, there's a risk of scratching your back cover or display during the repair. Of course, it is also important that you provide sufficient lighting at the workstation. We recommend to get a magnetic pad so that you do not lose any screws or small parts during the repair. Plan enough time to complete the repair without rushing. When being hectic, mistakes are more likely to happen. So just plan in a little bit more time. Most repairs can be done in one to two hours. In our instructions, we show you the repairs step by step. The reassembly is described in detail as well. You should make a backup before every repair. With this step, you're on the safe side, even if a data loss is very uncommon. The backup can also be helpful if you have to reset your phone after the repair. Before repairing your phone, you should check its functions, such as the microphone, the speaker, the camera and so on. This way you can easily find out if a function was not working before the repair. If something is not working after the repair, check the cables and connections first, because it could be that they are not properly seated, maybe even damaged. Generally, you should turn off the phone before the repair. If the display is already damaged to such an extent that you can no longer turn your device off, you may turn the device off using a certain key combination. It is also important to disconnect the battery as soon as possible, so that no energy flows through the device. We hope that you are now well prepared for your repair. If you still have questions, feel free to leave us a comment. Subscribe to our channel, so you never miss out on a new video. See you next time!